as the head-to-head, -head, they've actually played, although there's, uh, they've not played much together, they've had the chance to play against the, this team and its career with uh, the lead on that. There's Mr. Robertus, our umpire. And, uh, he's from Indonesia. And our service judge is from Palentis from the Philippines. So. We will be underway in just a couple of moments. I hope you can stay with us for this whole period, wherever you are in the world, because it's going to be exciting. And, of course, the highlight and the big, big, very important package is that Lin Dan is on his way back. The 31-year-old from China is probably the finest player of this sport ever. And he's going to be on court third up today. So don't go too far away from your... TV sets. In the meantime, we've got an interesting mixed doubles coming up, and I'll leave it to the. Ladies and gentlemen, umpire. on the right, Shin Baekyo and Jang Hina, Korea. And on the left, Lee Jun Lee and Zhao Boyuan, Hong Kong, China. Jang Hina serve. So it will be Jang Yena from Korea who will serve. First point, first game. And that is, I'm, I'm absolutely certain that Chun Hei, he loves these jump smashes. But if that continues and if he's as accurate as that, he sometimes misses the line, sometimes hits the nets. But if he can play at that level, he could certainly win this. That's a good hit. Nice from deep from Jang Yina. One all. And he decides to just try to change the tempo a little bit with that drop shot. He cut right across it into the net. Close, not close enough. And I said to him at breakfast today, I saw him and it was, uh, I said, you know, consistency will get you through. And he needs to, he's got every shot in the book. That's, uh, oh, it's called in. Oh, oh, oh. Been a couple of controversial calls. Three, On that occasion, Hoi Wa was very disappointed. It's 3-1 in favor of Korea. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, I think that was out. Mm, anyway, called good. At this stage of the match, of course, it won't be hugely important, but we want to have consistency with this calling. Yeah, nice. Wild side of Chun He absolutely wanted to, four, well, to smash it out of the air, and I'm afraid he just lost control. It's no good having that aggression if you haven't got the accuracy. Ah! Yeah, again, good work, I guess you could say, from Yena, although Hoi Wa was right there, two. didn't capitalize. Kong bench just a little concerned at the moment at 5-2 in favor of Korea. <laughs> Easy. Now, Hong Kong duo sitting back on their heels a little bit. They're not attempting to move that defense into attack quick enough. And of course, you only give half a chance to the Koreans. The doubles reputation of Korea is unbelievably good. Any Korean doubles pair will give you a hard time. It's they you make the whole team based around doubles. Silver, three, six. So, chance here for Hong Kong to pick up a couple. Here's Hoi Wa. A 
you see, that is really good, solid, nothing too Four, ambitious. Six. Just really solid speed into the pocket, right between the two, and then on the outside. Good work. <laughs> nice it's atmosphere so inside the Gimchon Gymnasium. Four. It's not full by any means, but... Uh, they know a little bit about their badminton in this part of the world, I tell you. They really enjoy it. There's the fruit that I talked about. The hoardings. Yeah, very good. Well played, Bake Cho. Kept his uh, concentration there very nicely. Disappointment again for Chun Hei. He's got to get those overheads really making it work for him. It's gone. It's out. You can't believe that. That little backhand, it wasn't hit that hard, Nine, but obviously four. too flat. And yeah, just a little bit too. It was a good shot, but just a little bit too long. was a poor Sensor shot from Shin. It didn't even make halfway five. up the net. He really five. went for broke there. They've got to keep concentrating. Both teams are just making too many errors. A bit of nervousness in the air at the moment. It's 5-9. Let's see if we can get some rallies developing here. They really are can, can be very exciting in doubles. That's out. Yeah, he hasn't had a good start, has he, from uh, this early part of the match. 10-5. And this also is long. Ooh, they go to the break, they go to the interval, and I have to say that Korea have not done a great deal beyond keeping the shuttle in play. Chun Hei and Hoi Wa for Hong Kong have struggled a little bit to uh, do exactly that. You've got to get it in play, force the opponent to do some work anyway. Korea in the lead, and quite handsomely. There's a happy chap. Nice way to spend a Sunday afternoon yeah, for the lovebirds. Come and watch some really play. good badminton here in Gimcheon. So. 11-5, Korea. Away from the blocks very, very well. Ui, and off the net and down. Absolutely dead. 12, Apologies, but 12-5, uh, it's looking serious for Hong Kong. They've got to do something here, get some momentum back. Oop, fault with the service. Yeah, it was the racket head. Little inquiry, a polite inquiry from... Jung Yina. And you can see what the uh, service judge saw. Oh. And that's out as well. It's, uh, it's not looking good. There's, uh, there's a lot of pressure on. You can feel it. There's a lot of tension in the Hong Kong game. Doubles game is built on defense. It's a really, really impressive part of their whole strategy. Defending is what they do really, really well. So it's so, so difficult. They rely on the others, the opposition, to make the errors, and that's what's happening. There's another one. It's 15 6. 15 6.
serious faces, but I'm sure they're very, very pleased with what's happening at the moment. And another error. Trying just a little too hard 16. here, Hong Kong, at the moment. They're getting blown 16. away. 16 6. We are in the final of the mixed doubles here at the Badminton Asia Championships oh. in Korea, in Gimcheon. And it is Korea that is showing the way. 16. Absolutely brilliant since the uh, interval. Side to side is defensive position. Front and back is attack. They're attacking. And there you go. Eventually, the Hong Kong duo succumb to the pressure. It's an embarrassment at the moment in this final. 18-6. Couldn't get his racket into any kind of position to play that shot, chun Hei. Oh, this will start the tournament final day out very, very nicely if Korea can pick this one up early. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what a miss. I was anticipating an easy, easy point there, but uh, okay. Hong Kong have a lucky break here. Just took the wrist over too quickly. Quit on it on the, the shot. And Shin makes an error. So 818. Still an impossible situation for Hong Kong. Hmm. Okay. It's three points in a row for Hong Kong. Three required for the first game for Korea. Two through the middle, and that's four in a row. 10-18. Ten, Ten, Polite applause from the home crowd. In truth, they know that Korea will take this one. It's just a question of time. Nice play, good doubles play from Baik Chul and Yena. 19-10. Good hit down the line and followed up nicely with a drop. Good. Okay, well, I'm surprised that he's not actually Ten playing a few uh, cross courts as well, Eleven. targeting Yina, continuing to really attack Baek Chol, but uh, that time it came off. Chun He, his power play from the base. 11 19. And that is in. 12-19. That's a nice shot. It down into the backhand corner of Shin. Yeah, that's good. That's well played, Hong Kong. Again, they changed sides in their defensive uh, roles there. Yin Na came to the left side, and she is, of course, the left-hander, you can see. In fact, both the women are left-handers. So Yin Na on the left side, it gave Chun Hei a lot of opportunities to re really attack the woman. And eventually, the pressure became too much, but this is a good fight back here. This will set the tone for the second game. Hong Kong actually have the higher seeding in the tournament, so get their act together and there will be definitely a threat, but they're so far behind still at the moment at 13-19. And that's a snatch and a really, really poor shot so from Hoi Wa. The most important thing was to keep that shuttle in play. 2013, it's game point career. Good 
rally. It was great footwork by Chun Hei, but ultimately that is the first game. And Korea just did so much in the middle part of that game to really, really make it beyond Hong Kong's capabilities of coming back. 21-13, it was a lot more respect. Okay, that's how it started in the first. So, first big hit followed up. Look. A lefty and a righty. Normally we see uh, the rackets on the outside, but on this occasion it looks like they're on the inside. Oh. Another big hit. Concentration from Jun Hei at the moment for two love to Hong Kong. See what I mean about the rackets? That they they're on the left hand of the person on the right. Oh. Three love. So a good start for Hong Kong in the second one. The defence that is occasionally letting Hong Kong down. Hoi Wa didn't have to do a lot to that. Probably got a bit greedy, hitting into the tape. Yeah, she'll be annoyed with that. Not a hard shot. And another one, this time the forehand. Two. After all the good work from uh, Chun Hei from deep, two points lost at the net. of the tape, didn't it? And that was nowhere near. Definitely a little lack of confidence, I would say, by the Hong Kong team at the moment. Yeah, that's right. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's the best moment for Zhang Yina of the match so far. Very, very Four, good. She three. saw the opportunity early. Watch this. Fantastic shape on that one. No wonder she celebrated. Great shot. Four. Not quite quick enough with the racket up. Silver. Four. Four. Oh. It's a very much more competitive second game. Two big hits from deep from Jan, and then the drop shot does the business. Five, four. She disguised it well, though, didn't she? Watch this, it falls through, and then it, more or less the same movement. Beautifully disguised. A very pensive bench for Hong Kong. Always difficult when you're moving to try to get in position to defence. Much easier if you've already got oh. your stance in place. But they were moving, and no chance to retrieve. Five all. Yeah, nice variety. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> That brought the crowd alive. Good stuff. Six, five. A brave attempt by Hoi Wa, but she was 
definitely in trouble. We'll just watch her. One from below coming up. Nice dive. Then this one, and another one on your knees. <laughs> Great stuff. Okay, thank you. She likes to win points, isn't she? Yeah, no doubt at all. Very competitive, uh, Jung Yina. And I think it is that confidence that's oozing through the Korean duo at the moment. They're feeling good about their game. They definitely want to win it. That's wide. Hoi Wa has made more errors Seven, in this match, actually, five. than uh, the other one we saw in the quarterfinals, that's for sure. She's, she was holding the team together. This time, she's struggling. Good defense, though, isn't it? OK. This time, it was just a little bit too much. And every shot, there was more pressure coming on. Good power play from chun -hei. Finished off by Hoi Wa, but there you go. Well, they're still very close at 6-7. Will be Chun Hei to serve. Oh, too clever. Zhang Yina really, really confronted that attempt. The cross court. Just have a look at the distance she ran for that one, then set up a nice, and then came back with the response. And the, it was too good. with Jung Yina. She is defending everything. It doesn't matter where it comes at her, into the face, Six. into the pocket, it doesn't matter. She has got a response. She's only made a couple of errors in this whole match so far. Very, very good uh, lady partner here for Big Cho. 9-6. Uh-huh. Seven, seven, nine. Hong Kong need a lot more of that. What have we got here? Okay, a little uh, adjustment of a shoelace by Hoi Wa, so. That's in. Took it early, and it's not worked too many times. But on that occasion, it was good, and it keeps them within one. Frustration. They had several chances and they were in control of that rally. But again, Chun Hei just lets a little bit of uh, testosterone go to his head, doesn't he? He's really power, power mad at the moment. Yeah, it's very difficult. That's better. Well, again, keeps the Koreans honest nine, here at 9-10. Again, she had a racket really, really high. It's so important. It was in place. She only had to come forward and down with it. Uh -huh. Well, it was good defense, but she couldn't actually turn it into attack, so it's a, the outcome was inevitable. Bank chul puts it to ground, and they go to the interval, 11-9 in the second. 
all looking good for Korea at the moment. Although this is a much better match, more competitive yeah, it's building up, isn't it? The whole calendar, badminton calendar, with the Thomas and Hubert Cup coming up shortly, Asian Games year as well. So it's going to be a big one. Beautiful finish from Chun Hei. That caught everybody by surprise. We've been so used to seeing him absolutely jump and rip into them. That was a very nicely placed drop. Right in. I can't believe it. They were both there. And in fact, I think that Shin left it. Really a bit of a misunderstanding. 10 11. And now 11 all. Hong Kong enjoyed that little break. Does work hard, that's for sure. Fitness supreme. Good oh, shot. That's a really good shot. So, for the first time 12, since the 11. first point of this game, Hong Kong are in the lead 12 11. Thirteen, eleven. Shin just didn't have his racket in position, and when he moved to it, it was too late. Mm -hmm. well, we've got the reverse camera there. It's a bit confusing at first, isn't it? But uh, the replay is reversed from the one we normally see. a big point and just look at that score line now it was 11 9 so that means five points in a row to the Hong Kong duo Made a big difference since that uh, little chat by the coaches mm -hmm. a bit of gamesmanship there from Shin Yeah, that's very good. That's really good play. Nothing spectacular, but just real solid pressure building from Chunhe. Just to the left, just to the right, and back to the left again. It's good, really good, very good men's side of the mixed doubles power. Well, this is getting a little bit interesting now, isn't it? Yeah, he was thinking about leaving it. He might so regret seven, that. 12, 15. And then it was a recovery shot that he really didn't uh, want to be playing. 12, 15. Go! OK, Go! well, that's a good, solid shot from deep from Hoi Wa. So the left-hander comes 16, up with a lot of power, 12. surprisingly. Yeah, it's got an angle as well, right into the right pocket <laughs> of Yena. And so good, 30, 60. Just missed that error on the serve.
persevering with the short service. It's good to see. Chill was not able to do anything with that uh, receiving, that defensive shot. He couldn't turn it into attack. Just look at it there. It's a nothing shot, isn't it? Easy for Hoiwa. So, this is getting interesting. It's a hard life being a coach. Even the crowd getting a bit desperate here at the moment. And there's another one for 18-13 Hong Kong. Are they going to level it up here? They were absolutely trashed and thrashed in the first game. They've come back so strongly now with a lot more determination, more consistency. They haven't made as many errors. They've been forcing the mistakes. So they've calmed down just 10, 15%, and it's made such a difference to their game. 18-13. was in position there. She knew she was going to take it. There was a little bit of hesitation. Chun He almost dummied to go for it, but no excuse really. 14-18. No. Again, that was... Much better. She made up for her error earlier immediately. And this is now two points away from forcing a rubber game. 1914. Shunhei says. Oh, it was a great shot. And that is out. Oh dear. That was a really, really good shot. And I know he's annoyed with that. Should have converted the opportunity. There's no need to get too extravagant. Just play sensible, simple, solid badminton. Ooh, lucky. Oh, dear. No wonder she raises her hand. Can't believe that. That came off more metal. There's no gut attached to that one. What an angle. It counts, it's good, it's game point Hong Kong. Yeah, that's great. That is very good. That is very sensible play from Lee Chun He. Hong Kong come out on top in the second. They have fought back well and they're showing their third seed, 14 world, world rank position. And that is much, much better. More consistency, no, not so many mistakes. And suddenly, we've got a big match on our hands. 13-21, 21-15, one all. 2014 here in Gimcheon, Central South Korea. Beautiful area, mountains all around. It's a gorgeous space. Third game. Just on the line, I think. Called in by the line judge. It was perfectly placed there by Chun He. Yeah, called good. I have to say that Mr. Robertus, he doesn't normally take any back chat, so maybe polite inquiries. Oh, and that's a good service, solid service. Shin is lacking there and lost his concentration. Maybe he was still thinking about that approach to the umpire. You don't need much to uh, lose the impetus. That's better. Oh, yeah, excellent. Right on the line. So two in a row for Chun He. That's three to Hong Kong. Hello, 
Home crowd a little bit anxious here. Yeah, that's a very, very good service. Followed up again. Hoi Wa immediately. Great serving and excellent follow up. They look so much more relaxed now. There's no tension in their game. They're just solid attacking badminton. Good start, Hong Kong. Yeah, well left. That's very, very good play. You see, Jun Hei does not have to hit it so hard all the time. That was really good touch play, putting it where there was no opposition. 5-0, great start. Just listen to the crowd encouraging. That's brilliant, brilliant. No wonder we saw the, uh, the coaches applaud that. It really does put pressure on now. 6-0, beautifully played, and then followed up to the net, look. No chance to retrieve. 6-love. Wow, where has that, where's that confident Jiang Yina gone right at this moment? Maybe we'll see it come back. occasion it was the power play of Shin Bik Cho. 1-6. There's going to have to be a lot of fighting spirit here though. Wow, what a reversal. Another error on the third shot from Chun Hei, 2 6. Do you know what? I thought that Chao, Chao, I thought was a Mandarin expression. Obviously, it's used in Korea as well. They want more oil, more fire, more action. Oops, chin's down on his bottom. And meantime, the play goes on. Yina can't control it, so Hong Kong still fighting very hard here, keeping a really good control of this match. Placement. It wasn't just the power there, it was the perfect placement. There's a lot of deceit. Shaped up to play it down the line, he cut right down across it. Solid. It's a fair Four, fight back again from Korea that is really going to give us an exciting finish. You can feel it in the air. Great work. Disappointment from you now. 8 4 is the score. I have to mention our host broadcaster, SBS, have done a fantastic job. They're bringing you some super pictures, intimate shots just like that one. And uh, it's, they've been so, so generous in their hospitality. Thanks a lot and great job, SBS. It's uh, really, really looking so much better for Hong Kong. That first game, 
Oh, I didn't know what happened to them. They just lost their concentration. Blown away, but this time they're looking very good. 9-4. Oh, yeah, she knows she was there. Gosh, so close to being a huge score difference. But now at 9-5, 5-9, it's still, the gap is still closable. Wrong side. Pressure, pressure, pressure. They are in a different uh, position in terms of psychologically. They are so much more positive, aggressive, and just look at this. First, it was Hoi Wa that put the pressure on. Then Chun Hei, a couple of big hits, and uh, Yin Na has been the focus of their attention. It's paid off. It's 10-5, a 10-5, rather. I don't think you'll be playing a long serve again. It's the short serve has paid off so well. No need to change the tactic. 6 10. I was speaking to the Hong Kong bench this morning and they really were not that confident. The pressure comes on and the interval is here and 11-6 is the score in favour of Hong Kong. And I say, after losing the first 13-21, picking up the second 21-15, 11-6 in the third, it's looking very good for Hong Kong right here. You won't be surprised to hear that I haven't a clue what the coach is saying, my Cantonese. It's non-existent, but um, if you are the coach, you just say, keep going, doing the same, concentrate when you really want to attack. Try but try but keep the shuttle in play. Fence, look at it very, very solidly and uh, just keep that attacking perspective. Lots of variety as well, and that's what we're seeing. Chun Hei is not just the big hit, Eleven he's got six. some lovely touch play as well, and that's been Wait. the difference. We've got uh, Hoi Wa, Chao Hoi Wa from Hong Kong with the service, and just half a game to go. Oh dear. From Sober, 7, 11. Well, he tried to keep it short. The last time they played it was a long one and it was no good. But 7, 11. It's keeping cool time, isn't it? It's very easy for me to sit here and say it, but you know, that really was too ambitious. A little bit off balance. Just keep it in play. That's better. That is much better. You see, that's thinking. Instead of going for the big aggression all the time, it's thinking your way around the court. Good court craft, 12-8.
good from Hoi Wa. She anticipated well, got there early, and put pressure on Beck Chol. Yeah. Right into the body, and not much you can do about that. It's a good lead here in the final game. Over. Nine, 13. Yep, Chun Hei nets another forehand, snatches at it. Oh. Oh. And another early shot from uh, Yina that pays off. Took it early, high, forced it down the line, and a backhand error from Chun Hei this time. Ah, now here we want to have a little time. Yeah. Just three points the difference here now. <laughs> a look to the heavens. Well, there's lots of great vision around here up in the sky. Three big mountains. Gimmo, Dek, Diop, Huang, Huge mountains, oh! and that is a disappointment there. It's 14-10. The Korean crowd, they've got several chances to celebrate today. They've got uh, another doubles par partnership coming up after this one. Hana and Kyungyun in the women's doubles. We've got another men's doubles later on today with the same guy, but Chul involved. 15-10, Hong Kong doing enough to give themselves and their team confidence that they can take that. That's a beautiful shot, right in the corner off the back end from Chunei. Well, if you will play around with the partnerships, you know, ultimately it might just come out. It's, oh, it's called good. It is called good, and I think Chunei cannot argue with that. 11-15. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, right on the outside of the line. <laughs> so, crucial time in the match. Third game. Yeah. And there was a case in point. Shin and over. Jiang both went for the 16, same shuttle. They went as a 11. unit across. Watch the court. They go across at the court together. Instead of having them separate, they were in attacking formation when they should have been defending. Oh! And that is another big hit from Chun Hei. And just look at the scoreboard ticking over. 17 11 here. 17, we're in the mixed doubles 11. final of the. Kim Chon Badminton Asia Championships 214. Hong Kong could make this one their own. Lee Chun Hei has the shuttle. That's it, consistent again. Keeping it in play, not going for the lines. 18. It wasn't actually quite as powerful. It was a bit deceiving, but good placement. Yeah, cut across it just a little bit. Shim could not get it back. This is a big, big moment now. Hong Kong have done really well to fight back. Oh, dear. Well, fortunately for Chun He, he's got a lot of money in the bank here. So he can afford to spend a little. Oh! And now at 19 points to 12, there's a little bit of uh, Hong Kong so support there, methinks. 19, 12. So Hong Kong, China, certainly there will be Chinese there supporting Hong Kong. 19, 12, it's almost done.
was good defence up until that moment that the uh, Yina got a chance. Yeah, it's uh, it was difficult. It was straight at Hoi Wao, couldn't get enough distance on it. So there's uh, applause for the completion of that rally, but they're a long way adrift here yet. Big chill with the service, but just two points away from victory for Hong Kong. Ooh, it's just out. Oh, ho, ho. it was close. 14, 19. Well, this will be a sensational fight back if they come back and steal this. Whose nerve is going to hold? It's very difficult. Ah! And it does come to Chun Hei. His power play pays off in the end. It's 20 points to 14. It's match and championship point to Hong Kong. Chun Hei's really, really improved play has made the big difference here. And this is now a huge moment for the coaches as well. They're really enjoying this idea. The mixed doubles final. And Hong Kong have one more point for victory. And they're held up at the moment, but it's 15-20. Still five more chances to win the championship. It's going to be short again, I'm sure, from Yina. So the other left-hander, Hoi Wao, receiving. Can she squeeze this one back short? Yep, she does. And that is it. That is beautiful. Well played, Hoi Wa. Well played, Chun Hei. They are celebrating a very, very impressive and famous victory here in Gimcheon. The Badminton Asia Championships 2014 mixed doubles winners are Lee Chun Hei and Chao Hoi Wa of Hong Kong. Uh, huge disappointment, you have to say, for Shin and for Jung. They had it absolutely sewn up in the first. They had a 21-13 win in the first game. It could have been 21-8 or 9. But uh, that was all turned around when the, the Hong Kong pair decided to relax a bit and play their own game and mix it up. I tell you, it, they were different, very, very different. And we're going to now have, I think, the uh, prize presentations in just a couple of moments. So bear with us. If you are watching us in Hong Kong, well, congratulations. What a good start to the finals day. Yes, and big smiles. Well done, Chao Hoi Wa. Well done, Lee Chun Hei. And there's the support, the Chinese flag. Yeah, well, I told you at breakfast you could do this. And you've, you have managed it with a very impressive come from behind victory.